Hello and welcome to Denslet, a channel for intelligent and curious people like you who are searching for human sexuality and beyond in the age of artificial intelligence. Now, we are talking about robot partners. Do the robot partners can read our thoughts beforehand? Is that possible? It's true that robots now can see. They can hear. Some can even talk back, but thoughts were different. Why? Because thoughts stayed inside a secret place. Humans did not show them all the time. We don't show them all the time. Not on their faces, not in their voices. We hide it. We hide our thoughts. We are trained to do that. But what about the robots? Scientists have been working on it for a long time. They are trying to peek inside the robot's brain to see what was coming before the person even knew and scientists also working were working on our brain too to peek inside because like predicting the weather it is uh, for the brain you need to go inside it to know what is going on inside it isn't it the robot's brain sir a little bit different of course the key was the brain okay it harmed with electricity in the case of robots thoughts made patterns in this hum the uh, different songs on the radio like different songs on the radio okay machines could listen to this sound this humming sound they could try to learn the songs this was not new they had brain computer interface BCIs, we call it BCIs in technical term. People with these could move robot arms with their minds or type on a screen just by thinking. But this was, uh, this was, this, this happened in the past. And whether reading the thought and as it happens is possible or not, we need to see or watch this video till the end especially especially something inside your mind is going on which is not a proper thinking a little bit dirty a little bit naughty okay how that robot partner will react to it the new thing was before reading the whisper before the sound the flicker before the flame predicting the thought now there was news researchers had done things they looked at brain uh, signals signals that came just before an action before a word was said they trained computers to see these signals to know what they meant imagine you are going to pick up a cup your brain knows this before your hand moves there is a smell signal small signal okay a preparation in the cup there is tea or coffee it smells the robot wants to see that signal to know you will pick up the cup before you do they used people who had this bcis that means brain computer interfaces for medical reasons people who needed them for medical reasons the scientists watched their brain activity studied them meticulously they asked them to do different kinds of things think of moving their hands think of saying a few words they used people who had these BCIs for medical reasons and people who needed them the scientists watched their brain activity okay for a long time they have been watching it for a long time and uh, noted down all the things okay the computers also learned the same way they saw the patterns that came before the patterns that meant pick up or say hello it was like learning a new language the language of the brain it was not perfect the brain is noisy because lots of things happening at once in our brain like many radio stations playing over each other the robot had to pick up pick out the right song 
the song of the coming thought. But they were getting better and better now. Some studies showed that they could predict simple actions with some accuracy, not perfectly, but better than guessing. Why would a robot need to know what you, you will think? There are reasons, good reasons. Think of helping someone who cannot move. If the robot knows they want a drink, it can bring it before they even ask or think of safety. If a robot sees a thought that means danger, it could stop before an accident happens like a car that knows you are about to break. But there were questions too. And these are very strange questions. What if the robot knows what you will think before you don't do? Does it change things? Does it take away your choice? These were things people worried about. The brain is like a wild horse, beautiful but hard to control. Yes. The robot is trying to learn to read its moods, to know which way it will run before it takes a step. And it was early days, like the first airplanes. They could fly, but not very well, not, and not very far, of course. These thought reading robots were the same. They could see a little bit of what was coming, but there was a long way to go. Yes, there was a long way to go. Scientists have been working on new ways to listen to the brain. New sensors that were smaller and more sensitive, they are working on it. New computers that can learn faster and better. Maybe one day robots would know what you wanted before you even know yourself. Maybe they would offer you coffee just as you were thinking about it. That would be something or maybe a little bit creepy, isn't it? But it is going to happen in the near future. And for now, it is about small steps, learning the language of the brain, trying to hear the whispers of future thoughts. The robot is watching, it is learning, the future is coming, and brain wave at a time. It is, it, it's a strange new world, of course, and the robots are just starting to read the map, a map written in our thoughts. If these thoughts are a little bit quirky, little bit dirty, little bit uh, naughty, they can guess it, they can read it, be even before you think. And it, it's like a map that changes all the time. Because as I said, brain is something which is like a wild horse. So many things happening at the same time here. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please consider subscribe, subscribing to my channel and of course, please join the membership zone to see more videos like this. And uh, in the next video, we'll come back with new topic on artificial intelligence, robotics. There are so many things to cover. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye. Stay safe and take care.